Hi there, got a great demo for you today. Uh, managing Wasm Edge apps in a container runtime environment. So um, let's have a, a little look at this script here. We have this Wasm Edge containers examples, um, which is in the uh, second state GitHub repo. So second hyphen state. And if we just back up a level, go up to here, we can read here that the C run project, which, is, which can be found here in the uh, GitHub repo, Called C Run. So the C Run project now supports Wasm Edge as a container runtime. Now, Wasm Edge is, of course, a, a cloud native computing foundation project. You can check it out there at uh, wasmedge.org. So, back to this demo. Since C Run is widely supported across the Kubernetes ecosystem, Wasm Edge applications can now be run everywhere that Kubernetes runs. Okay, so we've got a couple of examples here. We have this uh, container runtime example. We have this Kubernetes uh, folder here. We're going to go ahead and run this one first. Now, just to show you how this uh, README file works, we have a quick start section. And what I've done is uh, I've actually gone ahead and created a couple of scripts. So I'm just going to open up this install.sh script here so you can have a look. So this does quite a lot of, you know, just housekeeping and the heavy lifting to install these things. So just to save you a bit of time, so you can just try it out nice and quickly, we can run these commands here, which just go ahead and fetch the script and run it. And then we move on to the second one here, which is also just a, a bash script. And that one there will uh, deploy and run a simple uh, WASI application. And if you look uh, underneath all of this, you can see that um, there is the verbose version. So you can actually go ahead and, and run all of these steps by yourself manually. This is why this readme file keeps going and going. But what we're going to do is just use the quick start version up here uh, just to keep the video nice and short and to give you an idea. But feel free to explore both the scripts and also scroll down and um, look at the the uh, you know the step by step manual um, process for your knowledge and to get a better understanding. All right, let's dive straight into it. So we've got a uh, EC2 instance here, and it's just a brand new fresh Ubuntu 20. Okay, so we're gonna just copy this, which is the first install script that we just mentioned. And we paste this command in, which as we said, we'll go ahead and fetch the script and also run it. Okay, so when that's finished, uh, we can go to the next step which is this uh, simple WASI application script. And again, we simply just grab this, copy that, and paste that into the terminal. As you can see there, we've um, gone ahead and uh, created a container pod one-to-one uh, -one relationship there. And we have the output here, so that is all correct uh, as per what is expected, which is brilliant. Okay, so that's the end of the first demonstration. We're gonna make another video, uh, which goes back and looks at this uh, Kubernetes example here in this folder. The great thing about this is that you can copy this. If you come in here and have a look at this more verbose section down here, or if you inspect the install scripts, you can actually see uh, how it's very easily done. The scripts are obviously just to speed it up, but what this means is that you can uh, write your own WebAssembly. So perhaps you write Rust code and you compile that to WebAssembly and then you can go ahead and you can run that in a containerized environment. So now with support for Bosom Edge and the C Run project, uh, this is really exciting. So have a go, um, see what you think. And if you have any questions or you want any more information, please head on over to wasmedge.org and also over to secondstate.io. And thanks for watching.